Hi, Enkaran. Thank you for sending in your first essays for correction. And well done for enrolling on the course. Um, I can see that you're working really hard to get uh, going on this writing uh, for IELTS, which is pretty hard. Uh, so I'm really impressed with what you've done so far. Uh, I can see you've sent in a couple of different introductions and a couple of different conclusions. I'm just going to rework your introduction. The main problem here is that you are... Uh, Kind of repeating too many words from the question. So they don't really count because they're not really your words, they're the examiner's words. Uh, and as you go through the course, you will see the sentence guide. The sentence guide is brilliant at helping you get your um, essay in the right order and it'll really help you on your introduction and conclusion. I think that's in the modules just coming up. So hopefully that will answer your questions. But I would just avoid this whole structure of the issue of da 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 repeating the question. So I'd go for a more general statement here. Something like, it is often argued that reading is not as beneficial to a child's development as taking part in something more active. Yeah? Or active with an adult, even. So just don't get into the trap of repeating this. Do a completely different general statement. So then you're fine. I believe that children develop better skill sets doing careful, enjoyable activity. We don't want to repeat this. Uh, doing fun things, or doing fun, uh, we could say, uh, doing fun, uh, yeah, things is okay. Um, I'm trying to think of a better word there. Uh, or having fun, uh, or doing sport, which you're going to say, uh, better skill sets doing sport than doing reading. So take out, cannot give. This essay, okay, will support this you with examples. Yep, you need capital letters there, general sports council to demonstrate points and prove the arguments. That's all absolutely fine. So you're on the way there with the introduction, much better than you think. Okay, firstly, so you're going to give me your arguments. Yes, this is all fine. Consoles, yep, hand-eye coordination, <coughs> yep, good. Now you give me an example here. Research has, singular verb, shown that students have increased their score on psychometric tests, yep. If children play games, they enjoy their... They may gain or they could gain additional skills, which would be neglected in re by reading alone, okay? By own, by, uh, which could be neglected by only reading. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just uh, that little bit there. Secondly, so, um, yes, I just want to see if we can avoid reading again. Secondly, uh, as books are uh, lonely, or as books can be, uh, uh, as books do not involve other people, as reading books does not, or studying books does not involve other people, uh, it could it could hinder the child's ability to develop enhanced skills. You just need another word in there, such as team working and practical. Such as okay, don't want to repeat skills, such as team working and being practical. This is largely because physical activities, especially sports, are the only way children can yes interact with others. Um, on a competitive basis at a young age, something like that. So you want to say, explain the benefits they get, that they're getting from teamwork and obviously having to survive in a competitive environment could be a nice point to make here. So for instance, you're going to give a good example. 80% of children, you don't need that, developed their practical skills and teamwork. Yeah, we've repeated that again. I'm trying to avoid this repetition because uh, you want to show your Lexis and different words. So this is part of the exam. It's really a language exam of developed. Um, oh, what we say instead of teamwork? You can see I've developed their confidence and peer group. Uh, confidence and happiness with their peer group, mainly through doing sporting activities. Thus, yeah, it is clear that children who play sport are equipped with skills or, okay, or able to develop in a different way. Uh, yes, or, yeah, you don't need to really repeat that by only reading. Okay, develop in a more sophisticated way, something like that. So this is one of your conclusions. From the arguments given above, you need to put in conclusion here to show the examiner where you're going. 
for an exam arguments and examples above, I firmly believe that reading that now what I would say whilst reading okay, whilst reading is undoubtedly important and beneficial to children. Skills so take out that bit. Skills gained from doing an enjoyable activity with a, with peer groups or with an adult are much more important and relevant in today's world. Something like that. Uh, this conclusion here is also okay. Uh, a little bit repetitive, though. Um, I was going to say you're, you're sort of using, you're using, saying the same thing as you've already said up here. So I wouldn't probably do that. I'd just run with the first one. This one, I'm, I again, I, I just I don't think that's really giving me anything new here. Uh, you'll see from the sentence guide that it's quite a nice idea sometimes to add a prediction into your conclusion. So that will all come up in the next modules. So don't worry about that. You will get there. Okay. So this one, uh, schools, should they be more entertaining? Okay, the second one here. The introduction is much better. Um, I'm happy with that. I've just seen your comments at the bottom. Um, but your introduction is okay. So starting with a good general statement, experts throughout the developing and developed world have debated whether school should be more entertaining. Now be very careful. You repeat entertaining a lot. Uh, I suggest when you've got this kind of problem, get a dictionary out or a thesaurus and look at some different words. So a dictionary will offer you different words and you want to show as many different words as you possibly can. Uh, because repeating uh, won't get you any marks for your vocabulary. So, uh, when schools should have changed this a little bit, offer a wider range of fun activities or not. Some people believe that there, yeah, so we're going to need to repeat schools. Our sole purpose is to educate. Uh, however, personally, I strongly disagree. Okay. Firstly, we're going to your paragraphs. He has ample evidence to suggest that when schools are more diverting, you could have, or um, enjoyable, or varied, uh, so or interesting. So I'm giving you lots of words there, so try and write those down. Um, it will mitigate, yeah, students' stress levels, and give them an opportunity to cope with it. Okay, give them uh, ways of coping with it, or an opportunity to reduce it, you could say. This is largely because with their heavy workload, uh, now, uh, so I, don't, I don't really want to say they, okay, with such a heavy workload, <clears throat> um, a range of diverting activities are, such as games are needed, okay, uh, so try and just step back a bit from saying they, just try and use the passive tense maybe instead. For example, recent empirical evidence uh, sorry, research by the UK government demonstrated schools that included, I would say that because you're talking about research that's done already, more entertaining activities for their students uh, had increased, okay, I'm gonna, I am going to put in the past tense there, had increased their students' academic performance by an average of 15%. Okay, yep, therefore it's conclusively clear that having a uh, a range of extracurricular activities could enhance or enhances the student's academic results indirectly by managing their yes their anxiety or by reducing their any mental pressures something like that so again I'm trying to just avoid repeating words here so every time you see or repeating try and look up a different word secondly it's thought that some, by having more, okay, we could put here, varied or compelling activities, uh, has no educational purpose. However, this is the opposite. This, yeah, I'm nervous of you stating facts here. However, many believe this not to be true. Okay. This is due to the fact that children retain more knowledge when it is associated with an entertaining challenge. And you're giving me an example here, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I think you should say what you mean, because these are little bit empty sentences. Um, say, uh, for instance, um, um, okay, entertaining activity, such as uh, cooking as part of a history lesson or something like that, just to bring it to life a little bit. Thus, it's possible to state beyond doubt that enjoyable educational programs. Yes, okay, really happy with that paragraph. That's all looking really neat. Well done. 
From the argument examples given, I believe that schools which you need to implement additional and entertaining again, ugh, additional enjoyable and diverse educational programs. Uh, you don't need will, then you need to just have allow students to study successfully and effectively uh, whilst uh, yes, whilst avoiding uh, health difficulties or possible possible health difficulties. Uh, additionally, it is predicted that, okay, I really like how you're coming in with your prediction there at the end. So conclusion, much better. This is reads much more coherently than your first one. So really, really well done. You've got some great stuff going on there. Okay, um, and now you've also asked a few questions I can see about the previous task. I say governments and big companies working together to reverse environmental damage rather than individuals. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, so for task achievement, this is you're asking how was the best way to do it. Uh, th these questions, you're right, these questions are complicated and there's questions within questions. You need absolutely 100% to address both halves of it. Now you'll see there's a module coming up which helps you do this. So what I'm going to do is just move it like this. So you, you'll see the first thing is to talk about governments and big companies, which you do in your ideas there. The second thing is to talk about what do individuals do or what could individuals do. So you need to address both points on here, to what extent you agree or disagree, and then you give your examples. So I would suggest you do an introduction, one point on what governments can do or do do or could do more on, and one point, one paragraph then on what individuals do or could do more of, and then your conclusion at the end. Uh, but as I say, there's a module coming up which helps you tackle these kind of questions. So definitely you need to give both sides of the argument. So I hope that's helpful and really well done working so hard. Good luck with the rest.